So my schedule got really busy and unfortunately I couldn't record anything sooner, but there are a couple of things that I do want to share just because I'm so excited about them. Um, I got something that I've been wanting for the past year. Actually, I can't even say that because I'm not sure when the palette came out, but I'll be double checking that once I make a video on that. What I do want to focus on today is, and I'm super excited about this, um, this is a brand that I found or just came across while I was just browsing on Instagram. And I ordered this on December 1st and it just arrived today. That's a while, <laughs> but everything in here is honestly just proves to be worth the wait. I'm so excited to delve into it. I'm just waiting for it to <laughs> not talk when it's quiet. I'm gonna edit all of this. <laughs> so this is it. It's small. I really didn't expect this to fit in my mailbox, but it is from Lime Crime. I haven't, well I don't really know much about the brand. I'll be doing my research in the next week. Also just like checking reviews on the stuff that I ordered. This is the packaging. Look at how cute that is. Like, ugh. just opening this was a nice surprise because I saw the, the white box. I'm like, okay, there's no name on it or anything, but that's the list takes the cake. Um, yeah, so it's just nicely packaged. And those are the spoils. I already opened everything because I was super excited for it. So I'm just going to get right on it. I think they were having a either 40% off or some discount, other discount, like a certain amount off of your total price, but I'll double check that in my order in a bit. So I think I'm going to start with something that I remember seeing at Riley Rose. <clears throat> Excuse. And I did want to get it then, but... 20 bucks, I don't know, it was kind of pricey. But this is cute. It is the Diamond Dew. And it's just, it's really, honestly this feels like a baby bottle pop. Like, I'm not eating on it, it's just, it looks so cool and fun. This color is Pixie. It's got super iridescent, um, just bits in it. Pink ish. Everything I ordered in here is like kind of pink, so. And it fits with the packaging. <laughs> Whoa. It is kind of hard to take it off, but that's probably just the first time. <clears throat> oh my god, my throat's bothering me so much. But yeah, that's it. That's the, <clears throat> the little applicant. Um, I can see why. Because this thing. Definitely hard to come out, but this is the first time that I'm actually testing it on me. I'll just be putting it on my arm. I hope it comes out good. Okay. I, w I wish I had like a screen down there so I could see if you guys can also see it correctly, but we'll get there. Cute. Let me put a bit more. Ooh. It's pretty. I can see myself putting it on my eyes or just lip gloss. I gotta double check on where I could use this. Um, I hope it comes out right there as a light on the other side of the camera. To hopefully try to get that. Yeah, with like natural light, it's pretty nice. I'll definitely be putting in a bit once I record it off of the stand. But it's cute. Um, it's not drying quick, which is fine. I mean, it's pretty liquidy. But yeah. Um, along with those, I got the Diamond Crushers mini set. And this is Glinda. This is like super cute. I know that they sell these as boxes for gifts and stuff, but this is super cute packaging. 
So I already opened all of this. So I was just, I just wanted to keep it to show you guys. Um, and I got these. I'm gonna have to put them separately from the House of Lashes glue because they kind of look like it. So with these three, actually I'm gonna put them in color order. There's a pinkish, light pink, and then a white. I'm really excited for the white because if it shows up on me, I'm super excited. Because it's been really hard to find anything silver that can really show up other than just being some glitter. Come on, silver. So this is Acid Fairy Choke, okay, and Pink Pearl. That's cute. So I'm also just gonna... I don't know if I should do it on the back of my hand. No, I'm just gonna put it right here. And... Ooh, that's pretty. Oh my god. So I think this is the Acid Fairy. That's gorgeous. I want to put it on, but we're going to go see a movie and I don't want to have to take anything off of my face. But I'll definitely be trying these on and putting up the photos on Instagram. And I'll link it as I go. So that was Acid Fairy, and the next one is Choke. Yeah. Okay, that one's, that one's light. I guess a little topper. Just, just... What am I trying to say? I dabbed it in more. Second dip. It's pretty cute. I feel like that first one had a more of a, a color underneath it. This one just becomes like, just glitter on top. I'm just gonna dip it in some. This is Pink Pearl, which I have high hopes for. Please. Really good. Ooh, okay. Alright, I'm happy with that. These are so pretty. Oh my god. Yeah, it's super iridescent. I messed up on that swatch. I got super excited with the silver in it. So those were the mini crushers. This first one doesn't dry. Do they dry? No. I still get some bits of it on me. But I'm sure after setting it and just leaving it on for a bit it would probably dry down. And then I got, I decided to try one of their lips. This is the Wet Cherry Gloss in Sweet Cherry. <clears throat> oh my gosh! In Sweet Cherry. Whoa. It's a huge applicant. Oh, I'll put it up there. Oh, it's like, okay, it's glossy. I don't know what I was expecting, maybe like a matte lip. kind of bummed now. I don't even have my phone next to me. Okay, no. This one's kind of pink, and then that's like a darker red. I know, so excited there. But honestly, at a distance, moving on. <clears throat> These two things are what I was... Actually, the last one's what I was really excited for. But this is the plushies... Sheer Press Pigment Squad and Fresh Squeezed. Oh, it's so cute. I like I like the quad. It's so small. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice today, but I'm still want to get this video up. So yeah, this is Fresh Squeezed. Doesn't smell like anything, which is fine. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just still getting that cherry smell. I wanted this to go with the second, the fourth, fifth, fourth thing that I purchased. So. And you guys will see. So these are the colors. It's 
jackfruit, orange juice, mango, and dragon fruit. I'm sorry that my nails look so crappy. I just had jewel jewels, I don't know, little stones on them, and the glue is still there. So I'm just waiting for that to come off so that I could paint them again. But let's get into these. I'm just going to put them on. From here on out, I'm just going to put them on my hand. I don't have anything on. So we'll see how they perform. But I'm going to go into jackfruit first. Okay. That's cute. Let me try again. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty soft, actually. Nice. Alright, uh, and then we'll go into orange juice. Ooh, these are coming out super nice. That's a really nice color. I'm not getting, what's that called, fallout? I just, just because I'm like digging in. I mean, it is powder. It is going to come up, but it's not filling up the whole pan, so that's great. And turn mango. Just darker brown. Oh, very orangey brown. I like that. I'm getting super excited getting with like warm tones. Yeah, it is kind of digging up a bit. But it's nothing like end of the world. This is the one that I'm excited for. Dragon fruit. Oh, please be good. Oh my god. That looks amazing. And... Yes. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's a bit of powder. But those are the colors. I'll definitely just leave this on my hand to post on Instagram. It's so cute. Plushies. <laughs> I'm like obsessed with this packaging. It's adorable. That gloss is moving around. <laughs> it comes off easily. These come off easily as well. They just left my whole arm sparkly though. Which is fine since it's glitter. Okay. What's that whole mess with like pink staining you? I guess out of all of them, there is like a little bit of pink. So yeah. And I'm just gonna put this behind me. This is something that I've wanted since the first time that I went to Riley Rose. I forgot. Let me look up how much it is because it's kind of pricey and I haven't tried it yet. I just looked at the packaging. I was just, I just wanted to open it, but I haven't tried it yet. So, so this was $38, which I think I probably wanted something else, which is why I held off on buying it then. But this is the Venus 3 palette. I'm a sucker for anything art at all. Like if anything has any famous painting, famous painter associated with it, I'm picking that up. So this is gorgeous. I like the, the packaging. It's really nice. I showed it to my boyfriend and he was like, ooh, that's really pretty. And I mean, for like an indie brand, this is amazing. A little lime crime on the side and then this the back. Yeah, this is... I'm very happy with this. <laughs> so, getting in there. That's what it looks like. Cool, with the mirror you probably saw yourself. <laughs> so, with a little lime cream on top, and then these are the colors. It goes dreamy to beam, heavenly, rapture, ecstasy, paradise, bliss, and beloved. I can't... <sighs> Maybe Modern Renaissance comes up a bit, and I do have it, but since my chair is f towards the vanity, I can't open up my desk without moving, you guys. I'll do that in the future. I'm going to look at this first, and then dig up anything that I have that is kind of related to it. 
but what I really want to try is Beam. I'm on a search for a glittery light pink that is just straight up pink on me because I want that so bad. <laughs> and I couldn't find any except for two. There was one color in the Too Faced, their like latest one, the celebration thing that was really cute and is what is, it was what I was looking for. But that whole thing is huge. Like I didn't want to have to buy that. Not even just having to buy it, but storing it. I have no room for us to put that long plank of colors in my vanity. So I'm definitely just going to start getting into these. So I'm just going to put it on this hand. So I'm going to start with Dreamy. Oh, that's really nice. It does remind me of the Modern Renaissance color. I know that there is one that is like this. Oh. There's a little bit of powder there, but that's cute. That's nice. I'm gonna leave Beam for last because that's the one that I really want. So the next one, I'm just gonna go down and go to Ecstasy. It's a brown. It's a nice brown. Oh man, these apply so soft. Like I've just been super impressed with all these indie brands because I just bought Violet Voss and I've started to get a lot more ColourPop. They're amazing. Like. I've been under the loop. So the next one is Paradise. It looks like there's a little bit of shimmer in it. It's like... Yeah, a little bit. There. I'm just going to do that. I hope it shows up. And... Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh my god. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> I think there is a color in the Violet Falls palette that kind of reminds me of that one, but I don't think it's that shimmery. And the next one is Bliss. Ooh, that one's nice too. That's a perfect fall color. not the end of the world kickback on them and I'm using my hand like I'm just swirling it in there um okay sorry I was debating if I should clean this off or not but I will so with my thumb I'm gonna use beloved yeah these feel really soft and they're packaged nicely too like none of them are out or like placed in wrong so, oh, that one's nice. It's very copper, like a light copper color. I hope it shows up. Let's do that. I'm just going to use this hand again. Um, what's left is, wow, Heavenly Rapture and Bl Beam. Okay, so I'll go with Heavenly... Oh, that was so light. It's kind of cute, though. Like a light coppery color. Mm -hmm. I'll put you here. Oh, that's definitely like a topper. It's like a shimmery, white shimmery color. I hope it, you guys can see it. I mean, it's cute. Oh god, I can't even tell where it is. No, yeah, it's cute. Alright. <laughs> Rapture. I feel Dreamy Ecstasy and Bliss are mattes, while Paradise, Beloved, and Rapture have kind of a shimmer to them. Then these two are like the glittery ones. Actually, since I just tried Heavenly, I really hope that Beam has some color to it so that it is like 
visible. We'll see. So I'm gonna get Rapture. Yeah, I didn't try this. Okay. That's like a nice nude color. Nude color. I don't know. Light, light tannish. Like cafe color. Oh, that one's pretty. It's kind of pink. I'm actually surprised by that one. Lastly, Beam. I've been waiting for like two hours <laughs> to get this color. Alright. Does it look good? <gasps> yes. Oh, oh my god. I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. That is exactly what I wanted. Ooh. That's gorgeous. Okay. So clearly, I'm excited for all of these. I'm happy with my purchase. Um. Oh man, yeah, even there, that's like, ooh, no, it's not happy, because there was, I think there was like a color called Candy Sweet Candy in the Sephora store, the Sephora collection, that is kind of like th the color that I was looking for, but I'm glad, I'm glad I got this, I really am. It's cute packaging, too, like. So yeah, that's what I really wanted to match um, the two palettes that I got with one another. I could definitely see myself blending them or using them together for a whole night crime look. Outside of that boxum lipstick, that is my small little haul. I have no room for this, but I'm glad I got it. <laughs> The Riley Rose around me is like a good 30 minutes away, and I've never been into that store outside of like maybe two months ago. It was really cute. There were a bunch of brands that I never heard of, which was exciting. Cause it's like, ooh, I'm gonna finally try something outside of like the usual at Sephora. And this has been great. Like, I've just been poking around in some indie brands, the indie brand tag and Instagram. And if there's any that you guys like, definitely just let me know which ones to check out. Last video that I posted around two weeks ago now, I really wanted to get or get like two videos up a week starting until I just get used to doing this. But I think this will probably be my last order of the year. I'm going to start waiting for spring collections, which there are a couple of things that I've seen. But I may skip out on. So my last video cut off right when I was explaining about this new spring collection. I'm excited for it, but it looks like it's gonna be a lot of pinks and neutral colors. Unless someone else comes in with some greens, some blues. I mean, there are more colors than pink to come out in springtime. Like, even like the range of colors could be much different. But we'll see. I'm sure there is something that I'm probably going to pick up that I don't need, but it just looks really pretty. So, yeah. Um, if I don't say it sooner or later, I hope everyone has or is having a good December. And best of luck with your holiday prep. Um, any finals that anybody's having anytime soon. And yeah, hope you guys have a good weekend or week, depending on when I post this. Bye!